being outside or just being in your car too long in this excessive heat can be dangerous. Now we went to find out what you need to know to avoid getting sick. Meteorologist Pete Mangione continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage. We hear the terms thrown around all the time, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, but what exactly are the symptoms and what can we do to prevent them? Moments before Eyewitness News placed this thermometer in our parked car, it read 90 degrees. Just three minutes later, it was up to 100. Keep in mind, this is one of the cooler parts of the car. And studies have shown that the dashboard of a parked car can reach temperatures as high as 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why in this weather, pets or children should never be left in the parked car, even for a minute. Outside in the open air, Dr. Neha Rocker says heat can still make you sick with heat stroke being on the most severe end of the spectrum. You start acting crazy, you're not acting yourself, and you can even be unconscious. Heat exhaustion is not as severe as heat stroke, but can still be dangerous. Increased sweating, nausea, vomiting, lots of cramps, and you just don't feel right. Rocker says to get to a cool place quickly if you feel any of these symptoms. She also recommends wearing loose-fitting clothing and drinking water, not caffeinated soda or iced coffee. So how do you know if it's time to go to the hospital? If you're nauseous and vomiting and getting inside is not helping you, if your friends or your family notice that you're acting strangely, those are all indications to go to a hospital. And for more information on how to protect yourself from the heat, just visit our website at WPRI.com. At Rhode Island Hospital, I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.